Hello, and welcome to the long-anticipated return of the Reddit League, Facecam edition. Um, yeah, I think I may as well record this with Facecam now that I've revealed my face. Now that that's behind me, I may as well record as much as I can with Facecam. So here goes nothing. Uh, Reddit League. I am in Division 4 again. Uh, if you'll remember last season, I finished 4th in, I think it was 4B. So I was just outside of the sort of potential promotion spots. So I end up back in Div 4. But I think between each season I've improved a lot, and I think I really think I can push for a promotion this time. Because I was really close last time, and I feel like I'm better than I was before, so I really think I can do it now. But it is not going to be easy. It never is. So, a uh, quick rundown of the division. So the people to watch out for in 4B... Uh, at least in my mind. Diesel is the f the first player that comes to mind. He's the only player I've been with in every season um, of Reddit League, and he is very good. Um, he's maybe maybe the favorite to win this division. I'm not sure. He's definitely one of them. Uh, and he's, he, he's definitely a scary opponent. Aside from him, who else is worth watching out for? I think Nakiro is very good. Um... Pork Stakes, I think, is quite solid. And then, I mean, everyone here is solid, but two people to watch out for are uh, Carp and Treblia. They are newcomers to the league, uh, and I have no idea how good they're going to be in in um, comparison to everybody else, because, you know, newcomers are always more of a, a wild card. But, uh, yeah, it's cool to have them aboard, and especially Treblia, who's a uh, woman, which is super cool, because there just aren't enough female players in, in uh, GeoGuessr, so it's super cool to have um, them come along when they do. And then the other side looks, I don't know, maybe similar in terms of how tough it is. Seb Kyrus is super strong, Lunacy, Soviet Spy, they're all very good. Hexalt, anyway, the list goes on. But that is how the division is looking. Uh, I can take a look at the others quickly. I can just go to the overview. You can just see who's in each division. We have a lot of Frenchmen in Division 1. I think 5 out of 10 are French, which is, uh, well, there's a lot of great French players. Um, division 2, lots of Americans, actually, which is pretty cool to see some representation, except there's no, Amer no Americans in Division 1. Um, but, yeah, that's Div 2. Div 3 is... Looking pretty good. And Farbon actually, um, I've mentioned this already like twice, but Farbon has decided to step down from competitive GeoGuessr, but he did it too late for the Reddit League, so he's still in the Reddit League, and he's just going to be red carded, which is unfortunate. And then uh, here are the division, the two Division 5s. We have a couple of Bosnians who have uh, joined, a lot of newcomers here, uh, including Sheldon, who is my friend who has sort of gradually entered the competitive scene and is now in Reddit League, which is cool to see. Um, and yeah, so I think that's all I have to say about the divisions. Let's quickly go through the schedule. Um, week one, which is this week, is Poland, which, well, I've practiced it enough, so I think I feel reasonably confident with it. It's it's kind of a fun country. It's not It's not terrible to play. Um, there's definitely things that you can learn that, that, that help you out. So I've gone ahead and learned the Voivode ships, which are the uh, first level subdivisions, and I've also learned, sort of learned at least, the uh, phone area codes, which pop up a surprisingly good amount, uh, which is always good because area codes are a fun way to narrow stuff down in some countries. And then the rest of the season looks pretty rough, to be completely honest. Australia, I hate Australia. It's a really, really tough country to play. Uh, Russia is brutal, obviously. Um, besides that, I mean, Idaho and Canada are the sort of home field advantage-ish maps for me. The world maps look uh, interesting enough. And then, yeah, Europe as a continent should be interesting. Jordan, I don't know how that's going to play. Uh, I'm going to see with my practice next week. And, yeah, Ukraine Intersection Guesser, uh, the divisions with ten people in them, which include the fours and the fives, don't have to play these maps, so I don't think I'm going to have to worry about Ukraine, which is probably good, because it's I think it plays similarly to Russia in that it's very, very hard. 
but yeah, that's it. Uh, this week I'm playing Hedek Me, who is a French player. So, I mean, at least he's not Polish, I guess. Uh, can this go away, please? And yeah, I think maybe one of the easier opponents in this division, but it's so hard to tell, especially this early on, how people are going to play. I think he was in relegation playoffs for Div 4 last season, so hopefully beatable, but it's going to depend on how we play. It's going to depend on how much he practiced. And without further ado, let's jump in to week one of Reddit League Season 5. Here we are. 4 minutes 30 seconds per round. That is the time limit for Division 4. And yeah, hoping I don't screw this up too badly, but I think with the amount of practice I've had, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, so let's go. We are in a city to start off. Uh, let's see if there's any... Oh, that changed. Uh, okay, I don't see anything there that helps. Let's just move and hope for some info. City name, area code, anything. Looks like a pretty big city, so hopefully... Oh, is it actually in Warsaw? I think those might be the Warsaw street signs. Um, I'm not going to zoom in yet, but I want to say those street signs are Warsaw. Which is maybe unfortunate, because it might make pinpointing really hard, because Warsaw is just a huge city. But, um, yeah, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Area code for Warsaw should be 22. So if I see a phone code... See, that's a phone number, but it doesn't have an area code on it. Hopefully I can find a phone code. It's probably worth taking note of some of these street names. There's kind of a lot to try and take in here, but... It's not going to be too embarrassing as long as I can figure out the city. I mean, that coat of arms thing appears to have a W on it, which is... Ooh. Wrocławskie. Okay, so... Maybe it's not Warsaw at all. It could be Wrocław. I think I'm saying that roughly correctly, but... Okay, it definitely is Wrocław, which is here. Which also makes sense, so I was just wrong about the street signs. Lita Svidnitska and Piusudskiego. Okay, so these are pretty big, so maybe they're findable. Svidnitska, Piusudskiego. Okay, I'm gonna look for him. Piusud. That's not what I saw, right? No. P oh wait, that is what I saw. Okay, Piusudskiego and Svidnitska. Svidnitska is here. So we came from the south. So we're down here somewhere. This should be easy in two minutes because we have street signs, so this shouldn't be a problem. This should be a nice 5k to start off, but let's let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Actually, there aren't any street signs at this intersection, which is a little annoying. But we move east. And we're on... Tadeusza Zielinskiego. Zielinskiego here. Okay. What does that say? Ludwika Hirschfelda. Uh, crap. Okay, this might actually be annoying. Let's keep going. This should be better. Szczęśliwa. And can I read that? Okay, so it is Zielinskiego. So... What was it? Oh no. Guys, I'm throwing. Szczęśliwa. Szczęśliwa is here. So, I came from south of here. I went southwest, and there's a little turn to the west, and then an intersection. So it's this intersection. 
to get to this intersection, I just went north. So we should be here. I think, yeah, I think we're like there. Okay. <laughs> Took longer than I thought. But we just about got there in the time uh, allotted, so good start. Round two. Another somewhat urban round. Let me see if I can read that. So okay, that's his Krakow, which might be where we are. Keep it in mind. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that says. Uh, no. No. Area code 12, that is Krakow, yeah. That is exactly the area code for Krakow. So, let's see. Aleja Jana Pavwa the second. And Krakow Arena, Krakow Airport. Okay, now where are these things? Where's the airport? Is it over here? No. Hmm. Okay. Centrum is like southwest. What's this? Meissnera. Meissnera. That's this is a big road. Southwest, so would we be Yana Pavla? I saw that. Meissnera. So we came south. Well, we were going kind of west. Yeah, so we should be here ish. If I go south, what street was I on? Are you going to tell me? This one there was it. The other was one. Uwanov. So this, yeah. So that puts us just to the north of this little intersection right there. And yeah. Nice. Zero meters. Love it. Good start. That was a little more straightforward. Um, not all the rounds are going to be this straightforward. Uh, this is really lucky that we've been in big cities twice in a row. I played all the other seeds and like none of them had, I mean, there were very few big city rounds in any of them. So we're going to have rural stuff, I'm almost certain. It's just kind of lucky that uh, it's been this kind to us so far. Wow, it looks urban again. Really? Okay. I mean, I can't really complain. What's in sky? Yeah, okay, let's... I need to go find a big road here. This is probably not a good direction to go. Okay, screw this. This already might be a little tougher to pinpoint. Or to find it all. Let's focus on that first. Yeah, okay. I need to find some info here. Here we go. This looks a little better. Um, let's go this way. Okay, that's in French. Um, okay, no, that's... No, what? No, okay. Oh, I see. It's a bike race, like the Tour de France, but it's in Poland. Funny. Um... That, that was an area code. 81 is, hold on, 7's, 8's, 81 is Lublin, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure 81 is Lublin. Now, be nice to, why is it blurred? Oh, that says Lublin. Okay, good, good, good. I like this. Um, I could use like a, Road number or something? I mean, it seems to be a big road. Oh, man. See, this might be hard to... 
actually narrow down. This is uh, what is so. What is the road we're on? Oh my god. Okay, that is a mouthful. Uh, is that? It's uh, Mechislava Smoravinskiego. Is that a thing? I'm worried that's like the name of the roundabout or something and not the street. Oh, God. Mariana, no, that's not it. It was close to that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get this. 19. Where's the 19? It's up there. I mean... Well, where are we, though? I'm not seeing... Yeah, Mechislava Smoravinskiego. Shouldn't that be something that I'm seeing? It's not up here, is it? I think we're close to the 19. Crap. I'm not going to have time to pinpoint this. I hope I can find this road at least, but I, uh, I'm not getting it. Sorry if I'm being blind. This is a huge road. How... How can I possibly not see this? Is that ever the thing? Is this... Are we on the 19? I don't... I don't have this. Oh no. Oh no. This one down here. No! I didn't realize... Oh crap. Maybe we are down here. Oh, uh, please. Oh, I screw. Oh, guys, I screwed up. God, what did? I Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was so stupid. I was clearly in Lublin, and I moved it like really far outside the city. That was a. Oh my God, that was a terrible mistake. I mean, 19, it's like the 19 was nowhere near where I was, but at the same time, why did I do that? Here's Mitchislava. Yeah, okay. What? What was going through my head there? I panicked and I just dropped a thousand points for no reason. And we're, we keep getting put in, like, urban locations. I may lose this. Because of that lapse. Okay. Got to focus. 48. Yaros, Yaroslav. 48, I think, is, like... Uh, like, here-ish, I think. Maybe. Okay. I need to keep moving. I don't really like the look of this. Okay, well, this doesn't look any better, does it? Yeah, Yaroslav. Oh, now it's a 16 area code. Okay. 16 is southeast. Yaroslav. Is that a place? There it is. Okay. Oh man, this is just, none of these rounds are hard. I really, really feel like I screwed up there. Um, okay, this is all very hard to read. Let's, uh, what can I do here?
There's not a lot here in terms of street names and stuff. This is kind of tricky. We're in a parking lot, great. Got two and a half minutes, but I don't I don't feel confident at all in my ability to narrow this down. God, I can't believe I didn't just put that in Lublin. What am I doing? It's a type of mistake I need to just not make. Shipanskiego. Bandurskiego. Is that a, what? Why do they all have different names? Why? <laughs> They're like the same street, I swear. Zeromskiego, Bandurskiego. Hmm. Oh, Zerom. I saw that. Bonderskiego. Okay, so we're like somewhere around here then. We're south of this park. This has got to be readable. Pa park Mievsky? Wait, but... Oh, Park Mievsky. But what is this road then? I guess it's this one. Are we like there? We must be, right? I think we're there. Cool. Uh, please, I want this last round to be hard. I want it to be rural or something. Okay, this looks harder. I, I mean, it's still a town, but it looks like a pretty small one. I just want it to be the type of round that my opponent could easily mess up, because I feel like I might need that. Because those first few rounds just weren't that bad. The issue with this type of round is I need to figure it out. And that is never easy. Konchevice. Cool. Yeah, that sounds like the type of thing that's going to be very hard to find, so... Hopefully I can get some sort of information some area code some subdivision something I've already forgotten the town name good job what a brilliant start Stavisoa Oh boy. This is not exactly promising. This better lead to something. Or should I turn around? I don't know. I think I'm going to keep going. I don't know what that means. None of that is helpful to me. going on here. Please give me something. Just make can I hit a big road please? No. I'm turning around. This may be stupid, but if there's a chance of there being something in the other direction I wanna know. There's no way I find anything that I've seen yet. No. Nope. None of that helps. Or if it does, I didn't see the word that helped. Oh my god, I'm going in the middle of nowhere again. Oh my goodness. Well, it's a darn good thing I turned around. 22. Okay, now I need to actually find that. There it is. Uh, 
That is cut off. Maldork and Chulkov. 22. What? 22. Why? Does it continue? It has to. Right? Okay, come on. You've got a minute. Don't screw the... Oh, it goes up there. Um... Okay, Malbork, Chulkov. Chulkov is here. Malbork is, well, let's see. Chulkov is to my west, okay. So what the heck is Malbork? Oh, it's over there, okay, so that's actually a lot of distance. Koncherice is that town I started in. It's to my north. Nojevo. Oh no. I think I just have to look for it. Please. Nine seconds. Nojevo. Conchevita, yes, let's go. Okay, it's not going to be a 5k, but I don't care. Oh my god, that was stressful. Okay, that, I feel like I did pretty well there. The issue is... Oh boy, were you able to turn left there too? The issue with that is, like, if my opponent just goes this way at the start, he will have plenty of time to pinpoint, and it won't be that hard. Okay, so 24k is fine, but that was definitely the easiest seed of any of the five, and I think this might be enough to lose me the game. I don't know. I don't know where my opponent will be. Hedic me is my opponent. Everyone's 25king it because, well, it was easy, and I lost. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That was going to happen. It was an extremely easy seed. And, I mean, I, I was one of the worst performers. And, oh, that sucks so much. Because, I mean, to be, at least I was never going to beat him. And, honestly, I mean, okay, so... Like, the bright side of this, I guess, is that if I had gotten that Lublin round, even if I had 5k'd it, I'm still getting nothing more than a draw, and I think, I'm not mad with how I played in round 5, and I didn't 5k it, so I don't think a perfect score was really going to happen here. So basically... I wasn't going to get more than two points maximum, and I think I mean, if I played really well, I might have ended up top half, so I might have been able to get two points, but I was probably ending up with one point regardless, because I probably wasn't pinpointing this even if I wasn't an idiot about where I put the, the, the marker. But, um, yeah. Not a good start. You hate to see it, really. And yeah, I mean, there's not really much of a point looking at the rounds. I mean, basically, it was we all got these four, we both got these four, and he got this one, and I didn't. And again, it was a huge mistake for me to miss this one. It was just such an easy seed. I, uh, there was no excuse for screwing up the round that I got. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the thing. That's what it's what cost me last season. There were like probably three or four moments last season that I could point to that were like if I had not made this boneheaded mistake, I would have at least been in the promotion playoff. And now I'm worried we're just gonna have the same thing this season. Like points where I just screwed up badly and there was just no reason for it whatsoever. This just, like, what is this? Like, 
what are you doing putting it down here? Like, that was just terrible, really. Well, I hope this match doesn't get broadcast on the um, on the esports channel because they're gonna clown me if if it does. But um, yeah, that was that was an easy seed. I am annoyed at myself, but yeah, what can you do? I just gotta come back stronger next week. There's what? There's eight more matches to play, so this is uh, this is just the start. And I know I can do better than this, but yeah, terrible start. Oh well. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next week for week two in Jordan. And I will do my absolute best to get in the win column then, because uh, yeah, I want to do better this season. So next week, let's let's start that up. All right. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.